It may be a shock, but in this changing world, microchips are the new oil, the scarce but crucial resource on which the modern world now depends. Virtually everything, from missiles to microwaves, smartphones to the stock market, runs on chips. So today, military, economic, and geopolitical power are built on the foundation of computer chips. Until recently, America designed and built the fastest chips and maintained its lead as the number one superpower. But now, America's edge is slipping, undermined by competitors in Taiwan, Korea, Europe, and above all, China. When we think of Silicon Valley, our minds conjure social networks and search engines rather than the material after which the valley was named. Yet at the core of computing stand semiconductors, blocks of silicon carved with millions of tiny electrical switches called transistors, flipping on and off between ones and zeros to produce the digits undergirding all computing. Fabricating semiconductors with billions of transistors, each smaller than a coronavirus, is the greatest engineering challenge of our time. Today, no one makes chips with more precision than Taiwanese manufacturers, which produce about one-third of the computing power we consume each year, including nearly all of the most advanced chips. Today, China spends more money importing computer chips than it spends buying oil, and China's leaders see this as a dangerous vulnerability. Now, some Chinese officials even openly speculate about invading Taiwan to seize its chip-making facilities. The future of the world's technology now depends on a small island that Beijing considers a renegade province and America has committed to defending by force. This battle to control technology could very well escalate into another kind of confrontation. What starts as a chip war could turn into a frighteningly real one. Chip War, the fight for the world's most critical technology. On sale now. <laughs>